Now, welcome back to the mapped walkthrough. I want to dive into our GPA details page. And to get there, there's two ways we can get there. We can get there from our dashboard by clicking on more detail, or we can click on courses and clicking on view GPA details here. And what this is, is just a further breakdown of the information, further breakdown of the data. And you can see here that my cumulative GPA is going from 29 credits to 54 credits. I had a drop from a 384 freshman year to a 364 sophomore year. And here's my undergraduate cumulative so far. Nothing drastic. It's not great, but it is what it is. If we go to class standing GPAs, you can see it looks more drastic now because I had a decent GPA to begin with, a 384. But my 341 sophomore year dropped me down to this 364. I love the class standing GPA chart because this really tells us the trends. Where are you going with your, your scores? We have the same thing with cumulative science GPAs and class standing science GPAs to see what's going on with those grades. If you want to try to calculate, if, if you're like, oh, this is where I'm currently sitting, but what happens if I take 20 more credit hours? Obviously, it's, it's pretty easy to, to do a little bit of math, but we have it built in here. Ignore this bug. <laughs> There's a bug that we pushed out recently, but I still wanted to record this video for you. It should show your current GPAs here, uh, but the, the actual calculation still works. So let's say I'm expected to take another 45 credit hours, and I'm really hoping that I get kind of a, an A minus average at a 3.7. Where am I going to end up? Well, here's my AMCAS cumulative, TMDSAS cumulative, ACOMIS cumulative. So you can see um, that it bumps it up a little bit more. Well, what about if I did 50 hours? What would that look like? Well, it didn't move it much. What about 100 hours? Well, it's starting to move a little bit, right? You can see that the math is, is sometimes not on your side to uh, to really increase your GPA. But those trends will look really, really good. Now, we're working on adding the science GPA calculation into this as, as well, but right now it's not on there. So that is your GPA details page.